Hello everybody and welcome back to the Fats Hipster channel. Today we have a special video and in this video we have over here and we have over here that's right. and today we're going to be trying to see what mild sauce that these boys like the most. If you don't know what mild sauce is, it is a chicken sauce specifically to the region of Chicago, Illinois. And I have eight different types of mild sauce we're going to try today, including the two most famous ones, but then six others you may or may not have heard of. So we're going to go ahead and go in order from what you might not know, and then we'll end up with the last two, which are the two you probably know the most. Here we go. The first mild sauce we have today is Jay's Chicago Mild Sauce, which is a little bit sweet, a little bit tangy, all delicious. And this is manufactured by Sutton's Barbecue and Soul Food LLC in Yuma, Arizona. So it's not actually made in Illinois or Chicago. Put a little bit in this cup. We're going to dip some nuggets into it. And it's going to say, Rudy. Theo. Theo. All right, and then I'm gonna have one myself. And these are the new KFC nuggets. All right, let's taste it. See what we think. Take a bite, Theo. It's like harder and harder, but it tastes good. But it likes like mm -hmm. that, that was yummy. It was yummy. It was hot and yummy. Hot and yummy. What do you think, Theo? My impression of this one is it's a bit vinegary. Um, very highly spiced. Uh, not necessarily spicy as in hot spicy, but it tastes a lot of different things in here. Uh, the ingredients do say there's uh, apple cider vinegar. For your french fries? Yeah. Okay. Garlic, onion powder, black pepper, mustard powder, cayenne pepper, paprika, cornstarch. Yeah, the cayenne pepper really makes, gives it the spice to it. Okay. Mild sauce number two we have, this is called Chicago's Original Mild Sauce. This is from a company called Agents of Spice, the heart and soul of Chicago's South Side and West Side. Since 1950, it's manufactured and distributed by Folks and Company, LLC, and that's out of Blue Island, Illinois. Their website is folksandcompany.com. Uh, Agents of Spice. And just so if you know, if you were, if you're still looking, if you want to try that one, uh, it's J J's Chicago Mild Sauce dot Go ahead and try that one. That one. And I'll get myself a little dunk as well. It's sure. a little bitter, but it's like it's like a little bit. This one is more sweet to me. The main ingredient is ketchup. Um, you got vinegar, then more sugar with high fructose corn syrup, regular corn syrup, salt, spice, onion powder, natural flavors, sugar, vinegar, water, spices, seasoning. That so, spices are like good. Yeah, this one's definitely less spicy, more sugary. Uh, so if you're looking for a sweet sauce, uh, this one's probably more on the, on the lines of the sweet sauce. Uh, you can tell the vinegar uh, was lower and the spices were lower. They didn't mention paprika like the other one. All right, moving down to sauce number three. What is it? This sauce is called Dominique's Chi Town Mild Sauce, the original. I do notice on this it says net contents one gallon. This is definitely not a one gallon thing. I think they just reprinted a one gallon label to put it on these small ones as well. 
But let's go ahead and give it a taste. Nugget dunks for you. Nugget dunks for you. And then I'm going to dunk one. One, two. You can tell this one is a little less thick. It's more watery than the other ones. Let's give it a taste. It's hot water. It was hotter? Uh, yeah. Hot water. Uh, the, the flavor doesn't really, because it's so watery, it doesn't really stick to the chicken as well. Uh, so you get less sauce on your chicken. It's more diluted because it's watered down. One of the ingredients on here says undiluted water. What would you dilute water with? Um, but uh, ketchup says, the main ingredient says ketchup, but... Oh, look what this is. Anyway, so far this my is, least favorite because it's so watery you can barely taste this it. This sauce number number four. This was number three. Um, and this one was manufactured by Chicago Malt, Mild Sauce LLC, Chicago, Illinois. The website is www.shytownmildsauces.com. This is labeled Chicago Mild Sauce. And this is manufactured by Cray Foods, Inc., Chicago, Illinois. And it says it's an authentic mile sauce? M-I-L-E mile sauce? That's weird. Uh, Chicago's Urban Neighborhoods. All right. Let's taste this one. The main ingredient being water. This one is also a bit watery. And I did that. You're next. There. Yeah. Um, for myself. Yeah, be water. And then, 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 That's a good description. It is pretty, uh... Oh, I know I did I did something like that. Diluted. Um, it, the, the second ingredient, the first ingredient is water, the second ingredient is vinegar. <coughs> so both of those are pretty Daddy. liquidy. Daddy. Um, the main flavor I get out of this is vinegary. Uh, I would say pass on that one. The number five one, this one I actually, um, yeah. met. The person who makes this one. This is uh, Tip 32 Mild Sauce. Tip 32 makes other sauces as well, like Tip Sauce. If you're from the Chicago region, you might have tried Wood Tips before. I don't know if that would taste like the yeast. Yes, this is made by Tip 32 Inc., Chicago, Illinois. I've got the phone number 833 Tip 3232. And, um, yeah, tip32sauce.com as well. No GMO, no high fructose, uh, gluten-free. Um, Kevin Foots is the make guy that makes this. Uh, he also um, sells chicken uh, meals and stuff. Uh, probably you can find that on the website as well. There you go. I didn't and here I go. Dip, dip, dip. Much thicker on the sauce. It's like the sweetest that is like warm and it's like vinegar and it's like yummy in there. So, on this one, the sauce, the flavor that I get really off the tongue is molasses and if you do look on here all the the first ingredient is all natural puree i'm assuming that's like a vegetable puree tomatoes and whatever. okay yeah but the second ingredient is molasses which and then light brown sugar so those are two things that really have a similar flavor all by onion powder garlic powder and lemon juice so not very spicy pretty sugary that's a dark sugar flavor. Molasses, brown sugar. 
Uh, so if you like that molasses-y flavor, the Tip 32 Mild Sauce is the one you should try. Number six is called Chicago's Mild Sauce. The website is thatmildsauce.com. The underground flavor of Chicago is finally coming up. Um, the ingredients there. Uh, the first ingredient says aged cayenne pepper, so I don't know if these are necessarily in order of what's first because the first ingredient was aged cayenne pepper. I expect this to be very spicy. Um, we'll find out. Here we go. A dip for Rudy. Dip for Theo. And a dip for me. It is a pretty thick sauce. It's like the mozo car sauce. Yeah, this one definitely has a, a hot sauce flavor to it. It's not necessarily very spicy, which again, I don't think uh, these are listed in order because it's not very spicy. There is like that flavor of cayenne in there, but really lacking the that kick, that spice. Um, not a bad sauce. Uh, it is relatively thick, but still manageably pourable. It does uh, attach to the the chicken fairly well. But uh, is it the best? I don't think it's the best, but it is definitely not the worst. And if you are from Chicago and you've tried malt sauce, chances are you've tried at least one of these, if not both. Look. The first one we have is Harold's. The guy on the bottle, yeah. he's, he's chasing this chicken on the bottle. This one is available in stores uh, in, in the Chicago region, but it is made by K, K Cafe, a division of food and paper supply company in the South Chicago and Chicago, Illinois. But this is the official Harold's Chicken Mild Sauce. Uh, you can buy this in the uh, Harold's Chicken store, and then you can also buy this in some grocery stores in Chicago that carry it. There's your chicken. Hey, and there's mine. Good Yeah, this one definitely, it tastes like you mixed ketchup and like a Louisiana hot sauce together. And it's like the, 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 the uh, one, one taste of, of, of something and they like one. Mm -hmm. And it's like, Okay, those are very good descriptions. Um, but if you've tasted this before, you know exactly what it tastes like. Um, I can tell you, I've been to Harold's before many times. This t this sauce tastes like the stuff that you get when you go to the store, because that's what it is. Um, it definitely tastes like a mixture of like ketchup and hot sauce, uh, kicked up with a few other spices, maybe a little bit of sugar, but it's not very sweet at all. And the last one we have. Ready. Yes, There's none other than Uncle Remus Mild Sauce. It's all about the sauce. Uncle Remus USA.com, or you can scan that QR code. And there's all the ingredients. Here's the cup of sauce. We're going to dip it. Here we go, Ruby. This is your last, last sauce to try. You can try that one. And then, here I go to taste my last one. It's very viscous. It almost can come down with a ribbon almost. Then I want to eat the ribbon. If you've been there, then you know what this tastes like. 
I actually bought this one directly at a Uncle Remus's location. And it's like that the one that I made was like, it lasted really well. Wow. This one is syrupy. Um, it is... Uh, and it goes lower down. The first ingredient is high fructose corn syrup. It goes lower down. And you gotta cut it goes up, it goes faster. Okay. Um so this one is, is sweeter. It's not like uh it could be bordering on too sweet for some people. Uh but a lot of people like that, so if that's the, the sweet stuff is what you want. Um you just want that like hit you in the face sweet. The Uncle Remus mild sauce yeah. might be the one for you. Okay, so there we go. We have uh, Uncle Remus, Harold's, Chicago Mild, Tip 32, with Chicago Mild. Can I, can I wait Spider, first? Agents of Spice Mild, and Jay's Chicago Mild Sauce. All right, so those are all the sauces lined up. You can see them in their little cups. Ready. I'm going to do one more taste Ready. test just on the sauces alone. Jay's. Probably one of the hottest spices out of all of them. Um, you can taste vinegar, spice, a little bit of barbecuiness. Um, it's not made in Chicago. Out of all of these, it's the only one not made in Chicago. So that's kind of like the con for that one. Agents of Spice. Mild sauce. Very sweet. Brown sugary. A little bit of spice. Not too, not too hot. I do like it. Um, complex flavors. Dominique's very watery, not really sticking to the spoon. Let me just try to scoop a little bit up. Very liquidy. The flavor is good though. It's just you can't dunk anything in there because it's not going to stick. It's a little bit more thicker. It might be better because the flavor is there. It's just not viscous enough to make it a good sauce. Chicago mild sauce. Another one that's very liquidy. I'm going to try to scoop some to get a good judge of the flavor. Um, bland, a little bit vinegary. That's about it. From uh, Least favorite out of all of them. Tip 32. Very thick and viscous. Coats the nicely. molasses -y. Still has spice. Still has some other flavor, but tip 32 mild sauce, I would say molasses is the one word to describe that one. That mild sauce. Not very thick, but it does coat the spoon. It's on the sour side, heavy on the vinegar. Some spice, but I, w I will say it's not my favorite. Harold's. On the running your side, but still sticks to the spoon. Classically, ketchup and hot sauce mixed together. That's kind of like what I think about. When I think about Harold's hot sauce, and that's what it tastes like. And Uncle Remus. Probably the most syrupy. You can see the ribbons come off of it. 
It's sweet, but there's complexity of flavor in the sweetness. This is what's going to get you those like sticky chicken pieces. So this one, the worst for sure. I would say this is probably the second worst. The flavor is good. It's just way too runny to stick to any chicken. Next off the list, it's going to be this Chicago's Mild Sauce from That Mild Sauce. Uh, it's just it's too sour. And it needs to be balanced out more. Now coming down to the final five. I'm going to say, and I want to preface this one, next one by saying, this is judging on what I think a mild sauce would taste like. I'm going to say, Jay's falls off next. I do think it tastes good. It's just, it's the spiciest. It's the hottest one out of all these. And mild sauce is mild in the name. It's not supposed to be overly spicy. I'm not saying this is super hot, but it is noticeably spicy. Probably like a medium in the salsa sauces categories. Down to the final four. I feel like this is one where it's going to get a little bit more controversial about what I'm going to be picking because. Although this is a nostalgic flavor, um, it's just kind of hmm, basic. It just tastes like ketchup and hot sauce mixed together. So I'm going to move that back. Final three. I'm going to choose this one for my third one. This is the Agents of Spice sauce. Um, I just think... These two are the, the sweetest. This one just has more complexity of flavor to it than uh, the Agents of Spice Mild Sauce. Now, these final two, I will say, I like both of them. Um, they're both on the sweeter side, but Uncle Remus Mild Sauce... It's ribbony, it's very syrupy, it's made of high fructose corn syrup. Even though it has some complexity of flavor, I'm going to put that second place, which means my favorite mild sauce. No. No, that's not true, okay? Of all the ones that I've tried, is Tip 32 Mild Sauce. Uh, it really comes down to my preference. I think the, the molassesy flavor that it provides is very enjoyable. It's very thick. It can coat chicken, whether it's breaded or grilled. It is still uh, got some sweetness to it because of the molasses and the brown sugar. But it's also got... Some good qualities like no fructose corn syrup, no GMOs, gluten free. It's made of pretty natural ingredients puree, molasses, sugar, onion powder, garlic powder, lemon juice. There you go. My favorite tip 32 mild sauce. I actually was not expecting uh, the, that result, but there you go. My favorite mild sauce is tip 32 mild sauce. Um, and I've been trying these with. The brand new KFC fried chicken nuggets, um, mainly because they're new. They just came out. They're easy to sample a bunch of sauces. Plus, uh, last year, KFC partnered with um, Capital City Mumbo Sauce, which is pretty similar, I would say, to Chicago Bile Sauce, although they are not the same thing. And if KFC can partner with um, Capital City Mild Sauce and do a local run uh, 
mashing with them and, and actually sell the mambo sauce there at the KFC. Then KFC in Chicago. Let's team up with this guy for Tip 32. And maybe we can do a collaboration between KFC and Tip 32 and have mild sauce be available at KFC. Anyway, that's my opinion. Rudy, which one was your favorite? That one? Okay. These ones. These ones? Yeah. Theo, which one was your favorite? And the big ones. Those ones too? Okay. Excellent. Anyway, Bye. hope you enjoyed the video. And then the video. Leave a, a comment in the description below which one is your favorite. I'm assuming it's one of these two. But if you've tried any of the other ones, let me know in the comment section below as well. <coughs> we'll see you on the next video. Rudy, do you want to say goodbye? <coughs> say bye-bye. Bye. See you later.